Exercise 5, Adjust Column Widths and Format Cells, part of the Excel 2007 Core Preparation Guide, brought to you by ShiftKey Solutions. In this exercise, we'll be formatting column widths along with row heights, and also applying a text style to text within our cells. Let's begin. If we look at our worksheet area here, and remind ourselves that these are our column headers. Now we will also notice that some of this information is what's called truncated. We can't read everything that's inside this cell or this cell or this cell or this cell. They are truncated meaning that they the information goes behind the column of information to the right of it. However if I select this cell A5 I can see that it says beef pilaf and again the formula bar here tells me what's inside that cell. So if I come to A6, it'll tell me that's Jamaican chicken. Or B4 tells me that that's the word Sacramento. C4 tells me that that's San Francisco and so on. Now, I want to be able to display and read this column of information without having to select the cell. And in order to do that, I need to adjust the column width itself. So I'm going to come to the line that separates A and B and I'll place my cursor right on this line here and it turns into a right and left pointing arrow cursor. So I'm going to click and drag to the right until I get to 17. And there it is. When I let go, it'll adjust that column A to 17 points. Next, I want to apply a cell style to the titles of my data set information here. So I'm going to select A4 through E4 and then I'm going to come to my styles group and then in this gallery is a list of styles that are available to me. If I cursor over any one of them it's going to give me a live preview. In order to see more styles that are available I'll click the, I'll click the more button right here. Here is a list of styles available to me and you'll see that they're in sections good, bad, and neutral section, date and model section, titles and heading section along with number format section down here. The one we're looking for will be called heading 4. So I'll come over and here's the heading 4. Again, if I cursor over these it gives me a preview of what that style will look like. So I'm going to click heading 4 and apply that style. Next, I'm going to adjust the column width of column B, C, D, and E. But I want to do it all at once. I don't want to do just one column at a time. So I'm going to select column B, C, D, and E by clicking and dragging to the right. So they're all selected now. Now I'm going to put my cursor between any one of these lines. I can do it to any one of them. And just click and drag to the right until I get to 13 points. Uh, go slowly. There it is, 13. Now I'm going to let go and it adjusts it accordingly. Next I'm going to select A4 through E4 again and now I'm going to apply the italic format. Here in my font group I'm going to click italic. Next I'm going to select cell A1 and apply heading 1 style. That's found here in my styles group. I'll click my more button and here's my heading 1 style. I'll click this and then I'll come to cell A2 and apply the heading 2 style found in my gallery here and here's heading 2. And if I click A3 to deselect that cell I can see the results of my worksheet so far. It's shaping up nicely. That concludes exercise 5 adjust column widths and format cells. Thanks for joining me. Next will be exercise 6 using the sum function.